So we back with another video, guys. Today in the studio, I have something I've been dying to see in hand. As you guys know, Virgil, even though he's no longer with us, he still have a lot of collaborations and a lot of different sneakers that he was never able to put out, but was still in the vault. As you guys can see, Nike is still pushing out some of his last creations and giving us what Virgil would have given us if he was still here. And that's always a great thing because I'm not really sure how many more is really gonna be here. Today we have a shoe that I don't think a lot of people is looking forward to, but I definitely think it's a conversation point because I have not seen this shoe too many times around on YouTube, or IG, or any of those things. Let's get a glimpse of the Nike Off-White Air Terraforma. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Sniper Jones and welcome back to another video. Man, it feels good being able to talk sneakers. I've been so busy just locked in on the other channels. I know I love y'all. I can't be gone for long. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. All right, man, do not forget to hit that sub button. I greatly appreciate it. But here's the box, all right? This box, in my opinion, might be one of the most unidentifying Nike Off-White collaboration box we've ever seen. Nowhere on the box you see any Nike swoosh. No one on the box you see a, a, a Nike collaboration at all. It actually just got signs of an off-white sneaker. As you guys can see, safety deposit box is on the middle of the box printed in what is almost iconic when it comes to the quotations on any Nike off-white shoe. We also get the hands and face of a man that look like he's kind of giving us that, that old bay. You see that? I thought that was a pretty cool detail on the box as well. Kind of like the praying hands. And then last but not least, we get the size tag and all the good stuff. Usually on a Nike box, we'll see like a Nike swoosh. We'll see like some off-white lettering, maybe even some something a little fancy. Sometimes on a Nike off-white dunks, we get like this aluminum, this like tin foil type look on it. But this time they decided to go with a kind of like an orange, the same color orange box you'll probably get from a normal Nike box. But you know, like I said, no, no Nike swooshes on this box at all. Just a different speed. But here we have the Nike Off-White Air Terraforma, and it's a lot going on with this shoe, as you guys can see, man. It's a lot. I don't even know where to start when it comes to this sneaker. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I know this is not one of those highly sought sneakers. I know a lot of people not talking about these, and they might not even, you know, be sold out super quickly. It's a lot of things to talk about on this shoe. I'm not going to waste too much time. First off, let me go ahead and just shout out Hype 24-7 for leaving a lot me to be able to review this shoe like i said earlier i haven't seen too many people get a chance to talk about it so let's talk about it now this sneaker has so many things that we've seen before on previous virgil shoes whether that's the the nike off-white terra kiger do y'all remember those i throw a picture up on the screen but that was like the first time i've seen uh virgil use like these spiky outer soles on a sneaker to where they kind of look like cleats almost so like soccer shoes I've never been a big fan of that, honestly. I think even when the Terra Kigers came out, they sat on sneakers that for a while. Unfortunately, I was one of them people who went for all three pairs just to try my luck, and I actually hit on all three pairs and sent them back because, I mean, who, who want to get stuck with those? It was three different variations of colors, but it was the first time that we seen Nike and Off-White uh, collaborate and kind of use those like distinctive spikes on the bottom of the shoe. And they decided to go back with them on this. You know what I'm saying? As we can see, the, the, the spikes on here is, is OD. You know what I'm saying? And the colorway. It's two different colorways that come with this sneaker. This is the Summit White, and they also got another colorway. I'll throw that one up on screen as well. That is the Wheat colorway. Both of these sneakers will be dropping on December 21st, I believe, for the retail price of $210. Feel free to let me know down below in the comments if you guys will be going for this sneaker and it's 210 too much. I mean, I, I, me personally, I can't. I'm, I won't be going for this shoe. I love the fact that they still pushing out these releases. I love the fact that Virgil was still getting able to, you know, be able to push out some of the things that he created. But I'm low key, man. This is a lot, a little bit too much for me per se. By the way, these should be loaded up on the Nike sneakers app as well. So if any of my people are interested in picking these up, they will be loaded on the sneakers app. I'm curious to see if they're gonna sell out or if they do sit or if they do sell just like the speed of things. I'm not sure, you know, cause a lot of people still pay attention to the fact that, you know, Virgil isn't with us anymore. And these are his last few iterations being released. So it may be 
a better sale than we think, or it, it may be exactly what we think because nobody is really talking or speaking too highly of these niggas. Let me get the other shoe because uh, something I thought was really cool was the outer sole of this nigga, all right? If you put them together, it's supposed to read tread lightly. So if you guys can see that, I thought that was really cool. Show a little bit of character uh, on this sneaker. And if you ask me, I think that goes a long way, especially when you talk about Virgil, somebody who's able to reinvent and uh, you know redefine basic sneakers that we always love, whether it be the Air Force One, the Nike Dunk, Air Jordan 1, and so many other shoes from Vapor Max to, I mean, you name it. Once again, this sneaker is the all white, AKA Summit White, and let's start this review off with the outer sole. So this outer sole is without a doubt, very chunky, huge chunky outer sole. I mean, man, I don't know what the material is on this chunky outer sole. I believe it's the same as the Kigers, but I'm assuming this will be super comfortable. Just because of the feel that I'm getting on this shoe, it feels really thick, it feels really durable, but it's also soft as well. Like when I press in, this right here, it's good material. I'm not gonna lie, they probably more comfortable than they probably look, cause they almost give you like a platform look on how thick the outer sole is, but I think it's gonna work to your benefit. We get a mixture of colors on the outer sole. The outer sole is almost like a space gray or like a dark gray, but then we get like this huge hint of multicolor from the midsole all the way back to the heel of the shoe. We get a little bit of purple, green. In the back, we get a little bit of blue and orange. And then we go back to the, uh, what is this, green and purple. It's a lot, all right? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it is a lot. I believe that those two primary colorways, just white and gray, I feel like it completes enough of the shoe for you to be able to kind of like surround an outfit off of those two primary colors alone. I think when people see multicolors on the back heel and a purple sock liner, they automatically assume that what I'm aware with this, bro. Sometimes you gotta just keep it simple. Use the two biggest primary colors, base a fit around it, use something that complements and kind of hints off each one and I think you'll be fine. Moving up to the upper, okay, we get this reflective, clear Nike swoosh that's stitched on like all the other iconic off-white Nike sneakers. Of course, it got the orange tag hanging off the Nike swoosh. And we also get a little bit of pattern around the toe box and through the upper of the sneaker. The same prints that's in all of the Nike off-whites is still involved on the side of this shoe. This off-white shoe does include a white off-white zip tie and it has like pink text on it as well. Let me see if y'all can see the pink text. Okay, the camera acting good today, I bet. To top it off, you do get a little bit of uh, gray laces, a black tongue with the zipper on it. So not only does this shoe has a whole lace system, but it also comes included with a zipper on the tongue. And last but not least, this tongue is huge, man. This was one of the things I was like, yo, what is going on? Look how long this tongue is. A tongue like this, bro, it's almost like a hooping shoe. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like a hoop shoe. Uh, you do get like a hole here. I'm guessing this is like to pull up the tongue whenever you lace the knees up. But I ain't gonna lie, man, it is a lot, it's a lot. The tongue is black and purple to give it even more contrast of color if the midsole didn't do it already. And last but not least, man, we get this purple, almost like a Concord purple on the sock liner. To conclude the shoe, it has the air units on the back heel of the sneaker just to give it a little bit more comfort and support. But that pretty much concludes the Nike Off-White Air Terraforma and the Summer White colorway. Now, I know a lot of y'all got a lot of questions and I'm here for all the questions. Drop them down below. If I can't answer them, I'm pretty sure people that watch the video who roam the comments, I'm pretty sure we can all help each other out. I think the reason why this shoe might not be as attractive as other sneakers in the past is sometimes less is more and sometimes over the top can just be super confusing when it comes down to wearing a sneaker. It has so many different textures, so many different styles, so many different things going on in one shoe. I can easily see how it could be a turn off to someone who may have any interest in it at all. The colorway is crazy. It's so many different colorways, including the multicolored midsole to the sock liner to not even to mention the complexity that's in the actual silhouette, whether it's the lacing system to the actual zippers, the spike units, the 
thick, chunky midsole. Regardless, it's still an off-white sneaker. And we know that off-white carries a strong name in the streetwear community, in the sneaker community. So like I said, even though I see a lot of things happening, slowly evolving, I'm still curious to see how well this sneaker gonna do because it's really no telling. Anyways, man, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out my IG down below. I do do a lot of reels with sneakers that I review on the channel that I think a lot of you guys might like. Other than that, man, leave your comments down below, your thoughts, and I will see y'all in the next one. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody wanna be famous, but who really put in that work though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.